Welcome to our summary of All the Light We Can't See by Anthony Doyer, a beautifully crafted tale set against the backdrop of World War II. This Pulitzer Prize-winning novel weaves together the lives of two young protagonists in a story of survival, resilience, and the power of human connection. Our story begins in Paris with Mary Lore, a blind girl who lives with her father, Daniel, a locksmith at the Museum of Natural History. Daniel builds intricate miniature models of their neighborhood to help Mary Lore navigate the world around her. He also tells her stories of a legendary gem known as the Sea of Lambs rumored to protect its owners from death while bringing misfortune to those around them. This mythical stone becomes a central motif in the novel, symbolizing both hope and danger. As the Nazi occupation of France becomes imminent, Mary Laure and her father are forced to flee Paris. They seek refuge in the coastal city of Saint Malo with her great uncle Atene, a reclusive veteran of the First World War. Daniel carries with him a valuable secret. What may be the genuine Sea of Flames gemstone hidden from the Nazis' grasp. Meanwhile, in Germany, we are introduced to Werner Fanning, a young orphan with a keen interest in radios and a brilliant mind for engineering. Werner and his sister Juta live in a children's house in Zulverian, where his talent with radios catches the attention of the Nazi regime. Werner is accepted into brutal training school for the Hitler Youth, where his skills are honed for military purposes. Despite the harsh environment, Werner remains deeply curious and intelligent, often grappling with the moral implications of his work and the propaganda fed to him. His dreams of life beyond the oppressive regime are contrasted with his growing involvement in it. As the war escalates, St. Malo becomes a pivotal location in the narrative. Daniel is captured by the Nazis, leaving the Marilor alone with her great uncle Atene, who suffers from agoraphobia. Despite his fears, Atene is part of the French resistance, using his old radio transmitter to broadcast coded messages to the Allied forces. Mary Lore, determined and resourceful, takes a crucial role in this broadcast, showing incredible bravery in the face of danger. Her blindness for from being a weakness becomes a source of strength and resilience. Werner, now a soldier, is tasked with looking getting and destroying illegal radio transmissions across Europe. His journey leads him to the heart of occupied France, where he encounters the resistance efforts firsthand. The tension mounts as Werner's unit is ordered to locate and eliminate the source of the broadcast from St. Malo, bringing him closer to Mary Lore. During the intense siege of St. Malo, Werner intercepts Mary Lore's broadcast. Drawn by her courage and the sound of her voice, Werner defies his orders and seeks her out. This brief but profound encounter underscores the novel's essential themes, the intersections of fate, the impact of war on the innocent, and the enduring light of human kindness. Mary Lore's possession of the Sea of Flames aids in another layer of integrity. Werner helps her escape the besieged city, risking his life in the process. Their fleeting connection highlights the shared humanity that transcends the horrors of war. After the war, the character's lives takes different paths. Mary Laura returns to Paris and continues her father's legacy at the Museum of Natural History. The war leaves her deeply scared but also profoundly resilient. However, is tragically cut short, yet his moments of compassion leave a lasting impact on those he touched. All the light we can't see is a poignant reminder of the unseen connections that bind us, the light that persists even in the darkest of times, and the enduring power of hope and resilience. Anthony Durr's masterful storytelling and rich, evocative prose make this novel an unforgettable journey through the human spirit. If you enjoyed this summary, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe subscribe for more literary journeys. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the novel or suggestions for future summaries. Happy reading!